Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Cat University and today we are going to install another option part on our Gen 8 Scout. Today's how-to is about the optional CNC steel gear set. Now this is a great gear set for those who may want to add a bit more power to their vehicle. Now the gears that are in there have already proven themselves a great gear, but there are some drivers that just want to take their vehicle to the next level and that's when you would install these. All you're going to need is your standard hobby tools for the installation, so let's get started like always remove the body first we know you guys know how to do that and after that you could move on to removing the battery tray here if you've seen our drive shaft video you already know how to do that we have to remove the five screws that secure it from the top and then one from the wheel well remove those screws using a two millimeter hex driver with the retaining screws removed from the battery tray simply lift the battery tray up you could even unplug it from the receiver plug and move it to the side you could also go ahead and unplug the motor wires. Now we're going to focus on removing the transfer case. Start by removing the four screws that secure to the skid plate. To do this, you'll need to use your two millimeter hex driver. To remove the transfer case from the chassis, we're going to need to remove the screw pins from the drive yokes. Use a 1.5 millimeter hex driver to unscrew the screws. With all of the screw pins removed, now we can remove the transfer case. And finally, we could remove the transmission from the chassis. To do so, remove the two screws located here on the chassis using a two millimeter hex driver. To access the gears, we have to disassemble most of the transmission. Start by removing the upper gear cover. It's secured with a 1.5 millimeter screw. Take the gear cover off and then remove the three screws that secure the transmission to the motor plate. Separate the transmission from the motor plate and then remove the back side of the transmission cover by removing these screws. Before taking the transmission apart, take a 1.5 millimeter hex driver and place it in the output shaft. Now you can take a seven millimeter hex wrench and remove the slipper nut. We need to do this in order to access the pin on the back side of the shaft. Now separate the case, and we'll start by replacing this gear here. You want to push the top shaft through the gear in the back so you could slide the pin out. Once the pin is out, remove the gear and slide on the new hardened steel gear. Reinsert the pin, slide the pin into the gear, and now screw the slipper nut back on. We'll finish tightening down the slipper nut once the rest of the transmission is back together. Let's turn our attention to the large transmission gear. Just like the other gear, push the shaft through the case and then push the gear down to access the pin, pull the pin out. It may be easier to remove the shaft completely, take the gear off, slide the new gear on that matches the same size as the old gear, slide the cross pin in, make sure the shaft and pin slide all the way in. And now we can reassemble the transmission as we took it apart. During the assembly steps, you may want to add grease to the gears. Use a light coating for general use or heavy coating if you feel necessary. With the transmission complete, now we could turn our attention to the transfer case. Remove the four screws that hold the case halves together. Separate the transfer case halves, and like you did with the transmission, remove the shafts, slide the gear off the shaft, install the new steel option, and do the same for the main gear. Now slide your gears back into the transfer case. Place the end cap back on, and reinstall all of the screws. And now we can reassemble everything in the order in which it was removed, starting with the transmission. Next, slide the drive shafts onto the transfer case, followed by the center transfer shaft. Now bolt down the center transfer case. Now reinstall all four screw pins, adding thread locking compound to the threads if you feel necessary. Reinstall the battery tray and secure it with the factory hardware. Now 
And finally, put all of your electrical connections back in place. And once again, your Red Cat Racing Gen 8 Scout is ready for more off-roading. Make sure you check out the video description for links to all the products mentioned in this video. We'll see you back at the Red Cat Racing University really soon.